Good morning, everyone. All right, when, when I was in second grade, I had a teacher that would read to us every day during snack time. Her favorite book that she used to read from was titled, Where the Sidewalk Ends. This book was filled with short stories and poems. And in this book was a poem called, Mr. Grumpledump's Song. Does anyone have any idea what that poem might be about? Well, don't worry, I'm gonna read it to you. All right, Mr. Grumpledump's Song. Everything's wrong. Days are too long. Sunshine's too hot. Wind is too strong. Clouds are too fluffy. Grass is too green. Ground is too dusty. Sheets are too clean. Stars are too twinkly. Moon is too high. Water's too drippy. Sand is too dry. Rocks are too heavy. Feathers too light. Kids are too noisy. Shoes are too tight. Folks are too happy singing their songs. Why can't they see it? Everything's wrong. I would call Mr. Grumpledump a big old complainer. What about you? And who likes a complainer to make their day gloomy? No one, right? Well, I guess even the first believers had to deal with complainers. Because in the verse that we're talking about today in church, Paul is writing a letter to the church members in Philippi, telling them not to be complainers and not to argue. He said Christians should have cheerful hearts and willing minds, shine like a light to the world. Who wants to be friends with a complainer or visit a complainer's church or even hear about Jesus from a complainer? No one. That's why we have to be cheerful so that when we tell others about Jesus or invite them to our church, they're going to want to listen about Jesus and come to church with us. They will want to be a part of what we're a part of because we have joy in our hearts. So remember, whatever you do, don't be a Mr. Grumpled Up. Let's pray about that. Dear Lord, you are the light in a world full of sin. Help me to shine your light through the words that I say and those that I don't say. In every moment of my day, may my attitude be like Jesus's, full of humility, love, and joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Time has come to make a choice. And I choose. Oh.